Now, the government has put in place plans to ensure learning activities and the end-of-term examinations take place in the insecurity-prone northeastern region. And the crisis deepened after teachers fled for fear of attacks from Al-Shabaab militants and for other personal reasons as well. Ran Muguru with the details. Thank you. Thank you. While commissioning an ICT learning program in Dining Hall in Kamoyo Girls High School in Nandi County, Education Principal Secretary Dr. Belio Kipsang said the Ministry of Education was working with political leaders from northeastern region to secure learning institution and restore normalcy. If you see the case incidences of some of this problem, it has drastically gone down. Even the question of teachers, it had really gone down. It is only that the other day when we had that incident in uh, Wajia, but generally the security management and our colleagues in the interior are on top of things and we believe that going forward this should be addressed. Kipsang met Northeastern legislators last week with another meeting scheduled for next week to deliberate on measures of restoring learning activities. The PS also scheduled a meeting with TSCC Unans in Masharia to deal with shortage of teachers in the region. This has prompted the Commission to advertise 900 teaching positions. We advertised for 900 positions of teachers in that region. We had more than 2,000 applications, meaning that there are enough people who would want to go and teach. And therefore, we, do not, we are not worried. Kipsang emphasized on the need to integrate technology in the Kenyan education curriculum, saying it will transform learners into better professionals and promised government support toward the initiative. So other than the teachers sharing their experience, it gives also an opportunity to students to interact and be able to share experience. Meanwhile, the PS issued a stern warning to all schools that will not have repainted their bus by the end of this month, saying such vehicles will remain grounded in their respective schools until they comply with the law. Brian Muguro, Citizen Live at One.